YouTube crew, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. Now today we have our first ever community member gameplay review where I'm gonna break down gameplay that was submitted by a member of the community. We're gonna take a look at things that they do well, areas that they can improve upon, specific mistakes that they make throughout the gameplay, and overall, just take a look at gameplay that probably looks a little bit more similar to yours. Now, if you wanna have your gameplay reviewed, I went ahead and put instructions down in the comments below on how to submit your gameplay. Let's get into it. So today we're taking a look at one of our long time community members Hostway's gameplay right here and I always ask for a few things strengths weaknesses and what they would like to improve on now in terms of Hostway here we are taking a look at a 10 kill game and he makes a lot of good plays but he makes one of the biggest mistakes that I constantly constantly see players make his lifetime KD is a 1.02, and his last seven days is a 1.11 in terms of his strengths he says communication average to above average aim, and decent movement, which we will see throughout this. His weaknesses are indecisiveness on who to push, which is, I think, something that a lot of players struggle with. And what he would like to improve on is game awareness and movement tips. So let's go ahead and jump into this game right here. Now, first off, we kick this off immediately noticing that we're flying in with the Diamati. So you have to immediately understand what gun are you flying in with. And if you have the Diamati, you got to be aware because people are constantly going to be flying back in. They are constantly going to be two-tapping you with the Diamati. So you have to really be careful. Now, they have about four, what, $4,800 right now. And that is always my thought process is how much money do we have? I want to quickly highlight this play that is going to happen. The second he jumps, he just misses. And that's okay. You know, we know that there's a team up on top of roof. He hits the... Uh, he hits the muni box so that he can get ammo and he's going to keep pushing here. Bunch of people up above, so he's going to go ahead and push back with his team. And really not much happening as of right now. He gets the thirst. Where are the people? They are all over the place. Bunch of people on his level. Bunch of people up top. So he's going to go ahead and keep pushing here. Now he's full plates. He's got plates to the right that he should probably pick up. He has a stim and he has an MP40 along with the Diamati. So he's in a really good spot to challenge right here. He sees one up above. Now, one big thing that I'll talk about is pace of play here. I would reload while I am pushing the stairwell right now. He uses the stim to his advantage for the slide boost, and I want to talk like that's just a phenomenal way to use. That's a phenomenal way to use the stim right there. Now, this is the part that we want to first talk about. He knows that there's one across, so when he goes to anticipate this guy and goes to center, his his crosshairs need to be centered over here. His crosshairs need to be centered over here, and he needs to have the MP40 out, which gives you a little bit more range than, than the Diamati. If this guy's pushing over this way, you're still in a really good spot to challenge, but he needs to anticipate the person being over here, and his crosshairs need to be somewhere in this general direction. And what happens is he breaks that guy with the Diamati. Now he gets the down when he ultimately switches, but that could have been a very easy down if he just has the MP40 out and he centers well. So he's going to go ahead and revive here. And right here is where we start to talk about the big mistake. There's two big mistakes that are happening throughout this game. He's going to go ahead and push this guy, which I love. I love the aggressiveness. You can fall from right there. He gets the down. He gets the thirst. Look at Cash. They have $11,000, $12,000 right now. Somebody needs to communicate to get loadout. Stop doing what you're doing. Reposition down towards buy station and get your loadout. Once you have loadout, you have an advantage with guns primary and secondary you have your tactical you have your lethal and you have information you have all of the advantage there you have the advantage in terms of mobility in terms of damage you have such an advantage right there in terms of getting loadout so they still have enough to buy it they still have enough to buy loadout i think 5100 they're probably they're just short they're just short so they need to focus on getting loadout here so they can get that advantage and then it's much easier to fight these teams in control now great job here of patience just kind of trying to see he couldn't tell if he was above or below so he's gonna let that guy commit he's gonna get the down get the there's still nine teams up he's got three kills so far still have loadout money still have loadout money he's gonna toss the muni box great job there he reloads he's in a good spot he's got his stims They've got plenty of cash for Lodi. And this is the part that player... This is the part where I think people really struggle. This is what I think a lot of you struggle with, is not having a plan. Not having information. Not using your cash to your advantage and having that cash awareness. If they get Lodi here, they have loadout guns. They can start figuring out where to push next. But right now, they're still stuck here trying to figure out, okay, what are we doing? We're still fighting teams here, which is which is fine. But you can get Lodi while fighting teams. Just because Lodi is down 
doesn't mean you have to full send to get it. It is an advantage that you can get it if it's clear. Don't full send it just because it's down. But if you're in a spot to grab it, now you have an advantage again. So we have people over here, over at the shore side. And we're really struggling with information right now. We don't have any information about where people are, really. We know there's people on shore side, so we're going to go ahead and he's going to go ahead and push this way. Now the free loady has dropped. We still have a ton of cash. There's one up top here, one backside this way. He's able to get the... He almost gets the down, but he ends up going down here. He's okay. He's able to rotate back behind here. He gets the self-revive off, and we're, we're in an okay spot, but he has no plates. That's the biggest issue right now. So he does get that... Uh, Actually, he didn't get the kill right there. Now, as he gets the down right here, he's actually going to get beaten down by a pistol. That's tough. That's tough. But we're going to fast forward. Look how much cash we got. Now we don't have enough for Lodi. So because they've been dying, they lose that cash to get loadout. Now, let's pick it up from right here. In Josue's case, give up control. Sorry. I feel bad for the teammate. Travi kills here. Go to get Go get Lodi. Go get Lodi. Get your loadout guns, start fighting with loadout guns, and then focus on information here. But you really see how tough it is when you're just going off of audio. Look, audio in Rebirth right now isn't great. So don't rely on audio as your source of information. It's going to lead to a tough... It's going to put you in a lot of bad spots. Use your heartbeat sensors. Use your UAVs. And I love this play right here. Back in the corner, he's going to get this guy with the pistol. And watch this next play. I love this next play as well. He's going to get the down. He's just going to hip fire him. Don't be afraid to hip fire your ARs. Boom. It's broken, but we might as well take advantage of it. And he knows that there's two across. Now, as we're picking this up here, if you are looking to get better rebirth, I took my KD from a 0.7 to over 4 KD. So if you are looking to get better, just consider hitting that subscribe button down below so that my content gets pushed you a little more. And I post videos every single day. So if you want to know when I post, make sure you turn on that notification bell as well. I got a good noti gang going. So we're going to go ahead and position ourselves right. He's going to position himself here. Go to the trophy system. Still have enough money for one of two things, either a UAV or loadout. They still don't have loadout guns. We're now closing in on second circle. So they need to get loadout and fight with guns that they choose, right? That's the other big component of it. When you are, when you have floor loot, you might be comfortable with it, but are you as comfortable with floor loot as you are with your own guns? You shouldn't be. If you are more comfortable with floor loot than your own guns, then you're using the wrong loadout guns. But they've got two people have $8,000 here. So, you know, it might be a situation where, look, maybe your teammates aren't totally aware of this and you know, maybe you share this with them if they struggle with it. But ultimately, somebody has to take control of it. So in this scenario, I'd love for Josue to be like, guys, drop money. Don't even tell him to go buy Lodi. Just tell him to drop money. Great play right here, by the way. Great anticipation, great centering. He's able to get that kill. He has seven kills. He's got six other teams, so he's not on a bad game. Lobby's still very healthy. They have another full circle of of uh, resurgence, essentially, of people flying back in. I forget if it closed after the third or the fourth circle. I think it's the third circle, but they have fire sale now. Look how much cash they have. Spend your cash, guys. UAVs, loadout. The order should be this. Early game, even if you're fighting but have enough money, somebody take control, collect the money, drop loadout. Once you have loadout, you are fighting. You have a huge advantage over other teams that probably don't have loadout. And then your focus is cash flow, whether it's through grabbing bounties, whether it's through supply runs, whether it's through killing people and collecting their cash. And once you have the money to get the UAV up, this game becomes a whole lot easier. Look at this right here. Look at this situation. Not much information, right? Doesn't really have any information. He's got one little dot on prison over here. And I, I know I'm preaching to the choir a little bit here, but you got to make it a point to do it. He's going to buy UAV. Watch this. He knows where everybody is now. He knows where everybody is. So what does he do? He goes and he peeks this side right here. He's going to go ahead and peek this side right here in a second. He drops money for, for loadout. Now, I would say this. This is a mistake. Not capitalizing on your UAVs. He just wasted probably about 15 seconds. So if he reacts to this a little bit quicker, and now he knows that these teams are over here, he gets two breaks. He gets three breaks right there. And, of course, now they buy loadout. So now he's going to go ahead and push her all the way up and get loadout here. But you see how much tougher this game is when you're not really having information up. And Josue is part of my coaching program. Josue and I have talked about this a lot. It's something he's really worked on. And he's getting much better at it. It's kind of taking control of cash. And and somebody want you want somebody to be the leader, especially if you are trying to become a better player. 
you know, and you play with people who may not be as good as you or understand the game as much as you, be the leader. Tell people to go do stuff. Trev, go buy... Trevi, go buy UAV right here. Let's get UAV up to understand where people are. Let's combine cash to get a loadout. Go grab money from people. Trevi, drop your money. I'm going to buy UAV. Like, start to really take control of your cash because that makes this game so much easier when you can understand that information. And then we worry about execution. Then it's just about hitting shots. Then it's just about, you know, pushing the right teams and being smart about how you're pushing and not just full sending everything. So he's able to get the break there. Now let's talk about this next part because this next part's where they get really stuck here. They are going to get caught kind of rotating with gas. Again, it'd be nice to have a UAV. Look at that. He executes. He knows that guy's there. Now he knows that guy's there because he saw him before, but he can hit his shots. He mounted perfectly there. Don't be afraid to mount. He's able to get the thirst. Love that. He knows the other people are up there. Now don't get caught rotating with gas here. Notice where they are rotating to. He does a great job using his movement there to slide behind the wall. And the theme of this, guys, is really about information. Information. They don't know. They know the one team's up at near their loadout, but they don't really know anything else besides that. Now he knows there's 33.8 right here. I'd love to see him play a little bit faster there to not slow peak that, but kind of fast peak that, and he gets the kill right there. Now he knows there's people prison. He knows there's people headquarters. He's going to go ahead and push here. Bounty for cash. Like, that early is what I would have loved to see, right? He had the right thought process there of, let's see, let's get information. Bounties are great for two reasons. First, source of information. Now you know where a team is. Maybe 500 meters away, maybe 50 meters away. Bounties are great because you get an insight into where a team is. Second, whether you kill them or they get poached, you get cash and you get a contract bonus. That's why bounties are so valuable. You don't even have to worry about pushing the bounty. Just let them get killed by another team and you get a contract bonus and the cash. <clears throat> so they're going to go ahead and push here. They have a long way to rotate. I would not late rotate this. They don't know where anybody is though, right? So when we look at this situation right here, we are in a tough spot because we don't know where anybody is. Now he uses information. He's got 28.7 to his right. He's got four people. Great job of using the information. He knows that there's dots above. So he's going to go ahead and peek this. Executes. Executes. So the great example here with Josue is when he has information, he can execute on it. You know, he, he plays well with his movement. He can hit his shots. So it's about just putting his himself in more engagements by understanding where people are. Now, he knows there's people in there, right? So don't necessarily slow play this. He can he can play this a little bit quicker and push and just be smart about it. Now, one thing I did notice here is he never got his second thirst. He came up there with eight. He downed one. He got the thirst. He downed the second. He never got the second thirst. One more up there. So now he's going to go ahead and challenge this way. Great job hip firing. He gets the throwing knife. And this is where we really start to be put in a bad position here. Three other teams, long way to rotate. I don't want to see him rotating with gas here. He needs to get to this spot right here. Cluster's going right now. But he's concerned about this team up on the roof. I want to get to this spot right here. I don't want to rotate to roof. I would get to one of two places. I would either push to here or I'd push to right on the edge here. And just wait for him. Just wait. But watch, watch how this plays out. He's got one above, so he knows there's one up there. He's going to use his information. He sees him jump. He gets the down. Now there's one right above him still, right? That team's still above. He goes down. That's fine. He's over to the right. He gets a great live ping on that guy. I would crawl right here, by the way. I'd crawl towards zone. Crawl and then self. You're going to see, because what's going to happen is he's never going to be able to make it out alive here. If he crawls a little bit there, just that that's just a little little quick tip for you. If he crawls a little bit there, he's in a great spot to to still be alive. Now, this game's gonna end here in a second. By the way, he got kill number 10. Three other teams, he gets the live ping. This right here. No go. I love I love the thought. I love the thought of let's go challenge this guy. He's a bullet. Or he we got him down. But you gotta get into zone and push up here. Right, your focus has to be... Because, look, you have high ground here. You have high ground up here on this guy down low. So I would go ahead and push... Get back into gas. Because what happens is Trevi dies as well. I don't know if you would have necessarily made it into gas. But this extra, this extra down right here would not have kept you alive. So your focus should be on staying alive in that scenario. And we'll see what they see. They finished third place. 
And that's just, they get caught fighting gas and a team at the same time. That's the tough part right there. They drop 17, 22, 25. So not a bad overall game, but it could have been much better if they just have information up and get that loadout up early. So take control of your cash. Stop making this mistake of not getting loadout and not getting UAVs up. I promise you, as I always say, this game will become so much easier for you. Understand where everybody is. As I always say, get better today and I will see you tomorrow.